YouTube, how's it going? John here at Herman Woodworks. It's been a couple weeks. Uh, I had to take a little time off, get a lot of stuff done. Um, I've kind of said in some videos, getting ready to build a house and been doing a lot of work up at the property. And some projects will say, YouTube, how's it going? John here at Herman Woodworks. Uh, took a couple weeks off, get a lot of projects taken care of, couldn't film everything. Uh, some of the stuff is like, worked on some of the drywall up on my ceiling. I'm not a pro. No need to videotape it. You guys don't want to see that horror story. But, on to a project more of necessity. Uh, I've said in some videos, working, I've been working up at the property. Um, doing some clearing and hopefully they're going to be getting ready to break ground here soon. Well, while we're working up there, I have a five-year-old and a two-year-old and unless you've got a porta pot on site, which we don't, convincing them when they got to go to the bathroom is sometimes difficult. So, I'm going to go a little hillbilly on us here with a little project about turning that into a toilet seat. So, made a print from their seat, and I'm going to use it to put on top of here with a leftover sheet of some maple plywood. I think it's maple I had laying around. We're going to put some handles on the side so they can hold themselves. I might even put toilet paper holder around the side. Let's get to it. All right, so let's go over some of the dimensions here first. So from basically outer edge of this bucket to outer edge is just a hair under 12 inches. So what I'm gonna do on this sheet, I marked the center of this particular board. This particular board's 12 and a half inches. So it's gonna have a little cusp going around it. But what I wanna do is when it sits on the bucket that it's gonna have a routered in lip so the bucket when it so it's sitting right on the bucket and it can't slide around so this is 10 inches from here to this edge from here to this edge 10 inches and i'm going to do a six inch circle and then i'm going to router take a router it's this lip on the bucket is about three eighths so i'm going to router in a three eighths circle on this so that it'll sit right on the bucket. I'm only going to put it, you know, maybe about a quarter inch down or so. Just something to help it from sliding around. But then the reason for the additional inches on the end is, like I said, I'm going to make it where I can have kind of a handle. So they can hold themselves there. And, uh, yeah, let's get something traced out on here. Alright, so if you guys don't have one of these, this comes in super handy for making some really big circles or designs doing the woodworking. I think I got it at Home Depot, I don't even know, maybe 10 bucks, I don't even, I'm just guessing. I think it's like that Stadler, oh, this is Dasco actually. But uh, yeah, Dasco, but have the pencil in there. I have it six inches from my pin to my pencil. Let's make this circle. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is adjust this Bring it in 3 8 just to make that interior circle so when I'm running the router around that I know where I got to be. Um, you know, a lot of guys would probably set up a circular jig for the router to hook it on there. I am not doing that for this project. Eventually I'll do something like that. I'm just going to hand cut this. Like I said, it's not going to be very deep. We'll just go with that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mark a third line, actually. I went ahead and marked what I'm going to be wasting out. Um, you know, I got an extra quarter inch on each of this. I'm going to kind of run an extra quarter inch loop on this around, so it'll be the 12 and a half inch from here to here, you know, what the width of the board was. And that way, when I'm getting artistic laying in for where I want my hand holds to be, I'll have my perimeter on that. So, yeah, we'll do that real quick. Right. 
All right, obviously their hands are gonna be smaller than mine, but you know, in the case I maybe have an emergency. <laughs> I'm just kind of using my hand width as a basis for that. I'm gonna kind of measure that across and I'm gonna need both hands for that. So I'm gonna artistically draw in a handhold here. All right, so that's about the design I got. So now the only thing I really still have to lay in is where the opening is going to be in the center. And this is where the cardboard copy that I made of their little porta pot seat comes in handy. We'll lay this on here. I'm just going to kind of eyeball this side to side. And then I'm going to mark this center cut out. And then it'll be time to get the jigs off. You guys, obviously, if you got a bandsaw, it'd probably be way easier. That's one tool I still do not have. That's on the list. But for now, I'll be jigsawing this out after I drill some holes. Yeah, let's get to it. All right, before I go cutting out some of the edges, I go ahead and I went ahead and got a 3 8 straight bit on my router, set the depth to a quarter inch deep. And I'm gonna go ahead and run this around first while the board's whole. It'd be a lot easier just kind of riding this thing around. Like I said, if you guys got a circle guide, probably be way easier than the way I'm gonna do it, but this is just what I got right now. So let's do it. Got the dust collection. All right. So we'll use my jigsaw. If you guys watched before, I'm sure I've used this. I got this Bosch unit. Thing's awesome. Um, if I haven't said it before, make friends with your local pawn shop. If you guys are in the Northeast Ohio area, Geauga Pawn out on 87. Literally, I got this, my router. Much love to those guys. All right, before we go any further, let's go ahead and give this a test fit, see how it goes. Oh, yeah, like a glove. Awesome. All right, let's keep cutting. All right, I'm going to hold off on cutting off this last part just so until I drill out this so I can jigsaw that, drill hole in this, jigsaw, and then I'll make the final cuts. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clamp this down again and take my little rigid palm router with a quarter inch round over bit, go around the edge of this. Don't want any sharp edges.
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over and get all this sanded down. Get this sanded up to maybe about 220 and get this thing ready for, probably just gonna shellac it, something real quick, so. not shaking all right so we are prepped got this sanded down to 220 I always like to go in with really simple finish not gonna lie just regular shellac this one's an amber I had a leftover from another project I got a lot of leftover stuff that I try and use on other stuff but big fan of shellac it's super easy I'll take that, wipe it on with a rag, give it an hour, do a second coat, and we are done. All right, for anybody that's longtime followers too, the drops of wisdom when I have them. Uh, shellac, one of the best things. I wish I could give credit to somebody where I end up getting it from, but it was awesome. Take an old sock, some material, I twist it around and make a dauber. Great. You don't want to have to do it a million times over. Little baby food jars in this case. Old garlic jar. Seal it off. Literally the last time I <clears throat> opened this was probably well over a year ago. And this is still just dripping soft. It's already pre-soaked in this amber shellac. I have another one in there. But that way you can just pull this out. Dip it in and go. You don't want to have to keep redoing these. Also, it's just wasteful. Then you got to go put it in the trash, worry about fires, things like that. Seal it in a little jar. Like I said, last time I used this was well over a year ago. So. All right, YouTube, that was just a quick, impromptu kind of video. Uh, like I said, hadn't got to put anything out in a little while. I know it's 100% silly. Yeah, I could go buy a plastic seat. But that's one more piece of plastic in this world that we don't need. And this is Herman Woodworks. So, yeah, you do the math. <laughs> if you guys are new, please subscribe. Um, it's been fun as always, and I will talk to everyone again soon.